everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, and we are back, and we're doing another Ikoria draft, this time best of one. I said I would switch off, so that is what I'm going to do. Let's see what Labyrinth Raptor does. Two mana, two two Nightmare Dinosaur. It's got Menace. Whenever a creature you control with Menace becomes blocked, defending player sacks a creature blocking it. And creatures you control with Menace. So it's inflatable, and whenever it's blocked, they have to sack at least one of the creatures blocking it. That's pretty cool. What else is in this pack uh, worthy of mentioning? Well, if I wanted to force the cycling deck, the best card in here for that probably would be the Prickly Marmoset. Um, so... Maybe we give it a try, see what we think. I have lost a few times, so let's see if we just force cycling if it can come together. I gotta tell you, I I don't love the deck, I'm not gonna lie. I think I think cycling is one of those decks where it's like it's pretty obvious how to draft it. It's pretty obvious how to play it. Um but it does win a lot. So it's a real dilemma. For a format when you have something like that that's not a complicated deck and it's not hard to draft easy to force and it's a force to be reckoned with in the format so that makes it a little bit tougher so now it's pretty obvious stinger if you're going to go down the cycle path here so we take stinger other good cards in here we can at least talk about the other good cards I don't think Titans, this is more of like a constructed card. This would be a tough one to play, I would think, in limited. Uh, easy Prey, good. Solid card. Removal or Cycle, I like it. I like the General's Enforcer a lot. Um, Sergeant for a Humans deck. Thieving Otter, I like. I like Boot Nipper a lot. Alright, taking the Stinger. Moving on. Next pick. Duskfang Mentor is a good card. Um, I think there's legitimately not a cycling card in here. So I've seen a lot of what people do if they don't get enough cyclers. They just take like Sleeper Dart because it draws you a card like a cycling card and has a minor effect. I don't know. I, I was surprised to see that, but that is something you can do. Um, I would hope that I wouldn't have to play sleeper darts, but I suppose when you're forcing uh, cycling, it can happen. So maybe just to prepare for that, we just take the sleeper dart in case we have to end up forcing it. Or we just take the white cards um, that aren't very good for cycling because they don't cycle. I guess we'll just take sleeper dart and see how that does. So... Um, you can tank the, it's a, it's kind of an expensive, expensive cycler. There's Divine Arrow, which you can play in, in cycling as well. Uh, Karuga. This is a good card. Um, this is just an experimental draft. I'm just, I'm just forcing cycling to see if it can be done, even when you get weird little curveballs like this. We probably can just take Divine Arrow. Because um, you can definitely play. You can definitely easily play removal. Uh, some removal in uh, cycling. Um, and I don't think there's... Uh, or actually, I guess we just take the actual cycler. The ambush, yeah. Not the removal. Okay. So, uh, Serpent now, I guess. It doubles as a win con and a cycler. So here, take the startling development, get another cycler. Easy enough. Um, I would wager we are competing with people for this deck, probably because it's the most highly played deck in the format. 
Um, you definitely want the one mana cycler, so that's an important aspect of the deck. Uh, so if we're not getting cycling, if we're not getting cheap cycling, I guess we have to take more expensive cycling. Or you, you, you can take the Bloodfell Caves in case you want to play a cycling card, um, that you're just using for cycling. Because I would prefer to not play the two mana cyclers anyway, so let's take the Caves. So now we just take a white card to cut the color. Um, well, I guess we can take Blitz Leech. When in doubt, take a Blitz Leech. That's what I always say. So, um, Perimeter Sergeant, maybe. Like I said, we're, we're absolutely fighting people right now. Vulpa Geats may be better. Fly over top and cycle. Um, absolutely fighting people for this archetype. Um, I'm solely forcing it for the sake of forcing it. Um, just to see what it's like to... Because I haven't even drafted a video with cycling yet, so we're going to do one. I do think, like I said, I think it's probably the easiest deck in the format. You just... It's easy to draft. Um, we like we're actively getting cut, actively getting cut. No doubt in my mind. In cycling with other people in this draft, and I still managed to pick up eight cards, probably seven cards that I'm really not that unhappy with. So that alone should tell you that it's probably not the healthiest of formats. All right, we'll take another sleeper dart. And we'll take the cycling card. Take the Pyroceratops. So, I'm going to move stuff that I would prefer to not end up making the deck. Alright, well, we got the Flare. Step one done. Um, I, I don't even want to play the darts. These are emergency use only. Um... I don't want to play Vulpakeet. I don't want to play Pyroceratops. So six actual cards out of pack one that I feel okay about playing. Like, I don't even love the fact this is a two-mana cycler or this one. I'd rather do the Serpent than the Crystal, since you can at least, if you're flooding out a little bit, you can at least get a six-mana five-five haste. So let's take the Zenith Flare here pretty obviously, since it's one of the more important cards for the deck. Follow up. Well, we can take a Cycler with Upside, um, which we probably do over removal. Because this also is like a thing, a beater. And it gives lifelink and it has lifelink. Yeah, I like it. It is a two mana Cycler, technically. But um, yeah, we'll take it. Uh, Fire Prophecy is a, a non-cycler that you feel pretty happy about playing because you can mitigate some flood. You can kill things early on. Um, three mana cycling is actually a little bit excessive, but it does give first strike, which is good. All right, here we have... Will of the All Hunter. So it's a combat trick that you can cycle. I'm fine taking that. Otherwise, there's no other... Well, there's other cycling in here, but two mana cyclers. So we'll take the Will of the All Hunter and be okay with that. There's Pacifism, which we can play. Raking Claws is a pretty important one. Getting the double strike is big, especially with like... Uh, Marmoset if you've cycled once or twice. Um, I mean, how many cyclers do we currently have? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we, we have a good amount already. I can take the pacifism. It's pretty hard removal. It buys you some time. All right. 
So we can take the raking claws now. All right. So another lava serpent or the perimeter sergeant. We really don't have a lot of humans, so we really don't have a lot of wind cons right now. We have one Dranith Stinger, a Prickly Marmoset, and a Zenith Flare, and that's basically all we have to win right now. It's not exactly true, but mostly true. So we'll take another Lava Serpent. We want the one Mana Cyclers, though, like I said. Not these two Mana Cyclers. Um, guess we can take another tiger we could take the tigerilla I don't want to play all the two mana cycling crystals here um shredded sails you can definitely play it's a good utility card to have main deck on top of being a cycling card it can just kill things so it makes sense um, Forbidden Friendship does not have cycling, doesn't do much otherwise. Spontaneous Flight, I guess, is something you can do. All right. In case I need them, all the darts. Dart dot deck. Volley for sideboard, I guess. All the darts. Wait, is that a, I think that's a two mana cycler, so it's okay. I do have to pay closer attention to the, the cyclers, but you want the one mana cyclers, not the two. Um, all right. This pack is a bit of a mess, so we probably take the boon. Uh, what am I getting rid of here? Probably don't want to do the crystal. I don't really want to do the flight. Uh, yeah, we probably take Boon. And I think technically you're supposed to play. I mean, you can play a lot less lands. Usually you can play, I think I read from a commenter and I heard from a streamer, you can do like uh, three, for every three cyclers, you can probably do one less land, something like that, which I think makes sense. Uh, do we miss again? I guess we take another one mana cycler. Could splash for this. But it's just a 1-1. One, one. I mean, it's kind of cool. Doesn't seem like what we want to do, though. Uh, probably take the Lava Serpent, I guess. Hmm. Another one mana cycler. Yeah, I mean, this is like about as train wreck as you can get with cycling and, um, this could probably still steal a game or two, I imagine. I mean, you have the Lava Serpents, I guess, on the, the top end. Well, that's not what I want. Network error. Hmm. Well, I hope it righted itself. Oh, it did. Uh, escape protocol, no. Another Shredded Sails. 
Um, and kicked out. All right. Sad. All right. Booting it back up to see what damages are... Further damages are done to our deck that was already struggling. <laughs> I can just hear the picks. You can hear the sound effects of the picks just zooming by. Just sitting looking at a black screen here. All right. Yep, this is what we got. We got just a black screen, uh, a friend list. You can hear those picks zooming by, and that's it. That is all she wrote. All right, I'm back. So, after possibly drafting the worst cycling deck of all time, like the worst, mid-draft, the worst cycling deck of all time, uh, get kicked out. Internet drops, reset modem, come back, drafts over, and so let's this this is this is gonna be interesting. So quite possibly already just off the bat, the worst cycling deck of all time. <laughs> the worst. Then I get dropped, and now I have to do the worst cycling deck of all time with with cards I didn't even draft. So, this is going to be real interesting. Definitely very interesting. All right. So, I guess we can do a cycling count, maybe. Probably going to need that. Probably going to need these. Uh, how many cyclers did I get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen cyclers. So I can probably do four less lands than I normally would, probably. So what is that? 13 lands maybe? Which means I still have to find... I, I have to be able to find five more spells to play? Okay. Five more spells to play. Probably this. Maybe... This. Possibly that. Hmm. Yeah. Nine creatures. Combat tricks don't seem great in a nine creature deck. Let's just play these two and I guess call it good. Um, yeah. Worst deck of all time. Not just worst cycling, worst deck of all time. Uh, so 12 mountains and um, 7 white. So, and we have 13 lands, so probably 6 of these. And seven of these. All right. See you in round one. All right. That is a keep.
think we just cycle the crystal. Could use it to ramp into Tiger, but I don't like that enough to do that. So we'll play the Gremlin now. And I'm going to use the dart to untap the Gremlin. So we'll cycle the Boon here. Well, this we might actually cast, so I think what we'll do is burn, dart, draw our card. Well, there's the win con. I guess I could have attacked there. Doesn't really matter. Oh, you got us, all right. Could our opponent's deck actually be worse than ours? Is that possible? It's shocking, if true. Um, guess we'll get in. Uh, let's see here. So we'll go serpent.
main phase adaptive shimmer. You know you're in you're in rough shape when when you're doing a main phase adaptive shimmer. for the next one. Alright, game two. Keep this. Do I actually play the crystal to ramp to the lava serpent? I could, uh, I could see myself doing that. So, maybe play the mare and then we can Vulpakite, start beating from above. I think we'll do that. Startling development. Well... Cycle this. Um, play the dart.
Alright. Hmm. Well, I suppose we attack. Pass. Man, they sure, uh, they sure took their sweet time on using that fire prophecy. They must have had some sort of like double removal plan. Although with two mana, I don't know how you're going to do this. So, worst cycling deck in the world. Currently 2-0. It's fitting. It's very fitting. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Considering it's got two of our three actual uh, ways to win in hand. That's good. I don't think I'm going to cycle the Stinger. I need it too bad. Uh-oh. Are we going up against a real cycling deck now? I think we're in trouble. Um, I may have to cycle for an actual way to kill that or we just die right away. Hmm. Um... I guess I could have sleeper darted it. I was thinking if I cycled this, I might find another one mana cycling, but maybe not. Yeah, Cathartic Reunion actually would have made sense for the cycling deck too, I think. So, I'll get the Marmoset down now. Dump the uh, I guess the sails. I mean, I want the sails in my yard, I guess that could make sense, but Pyroceratops plan. Good. S the Pyroceratops sleeper dart plan. I like it.
That is a very, very low-powered Zenith Flare. <laughs> Alright, well, if you're not going to draw cycling for your Zenith Flare, drawing some actual uh, ways to win the game is good, I guess. I don't know why my opponent, the cycling deck, hasn't cycled a single card yet either. I'm a little bit confused about that. I guess they're just waiting for their, their thing to play. I'm going to kill that, by the way. I'm going to... Literally use a Zenith Flare on a two toughness creature. Just as an FYI. Oh, big beater, that's good. Let's let's kill the Thunder Main first. Priorities here. And I'm not cycling this, so we've we're off that plan. Um one card left in their hand, alright. I forgot I was playing this card. I guess I'm only choosing one anyway. Well, we want to cycle this first. Hmm, that's actually pretty good. already picked them for me. Sounds good.
Well, I think we got to attack and hope they don't double cycle here. All right, good. <laughs> I don't want to end up hating this format. I'll say that right now. I don't... I, I haven't drafted in a while. I don't want to end up hating this format. But uh, I gotta tell you, there's a there's a decent chance, there's a decent chance that I end up hating this format, just based on pretty small sample size so far. There is a decent chance that I end up hating this format. It also kind of amuses me that I have like the worst cycling deck of all time and of course I'm playing against like the perfect one. Just like everything you want. Alright, we'll see for the next one. Uh, Sand needs some help but we'll keep it. I suppose I should have played uh, our tap land to be able to do mythos of snapdax. That would have actually made some sense. Um, I think we're just going to do Pyroceratops um, and pass. I, I mean, I don't mind having a Splendor Mirror in my graveyard. It feeds the Zenith Flare, but I'd rather have the Life Linker on the board right now. Although, this makes Ram through a little more brutal, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Which is a common. That would likely be in a deck that's running Green Red Spell Eater Wolverine. Uh, 
Um, cycle this first. Oh, that's good. Alright. Good enough for me. This still this thing still rams through pretty good. At least it can't kill our pyroceratops now. I guess that's good news. Alright, they drop a forbidden friendship here. Not sure what they're using the naturalist for though, for that. I guess they thought maybe it was a creature spell, I don't know. Oh, Stinger. That's a good one. Let's go Dart first. Pump that Pyroceratops up. I guess we'll drop the stinger and start cycling the serpents. And plan is to win off the back of a stinger and a zenith flare now, I guess. Alright, opponent plays Glowstone Recluse. So, I guess we'll do the Serpent Psycho first. Actually, gonna play the sleeper dart to boost the uh, pyroceratops. And I guess next turn we can actually cast the uh, uh, lava serpent, which is pretty cool. First striker here. And then we just go nice raking claws too. for the next one. All right, opponent's going first. We got to keep here.
Lutri. All right, opponent mulls to five and then keeps. We'll probably cycle the raking claws instead of play the sleeper dart. And the reason is because I want to be able to cast stuff for that. Well, actually, that's not true. I can cast raking claws to boost pyroceratops as well. Um. So I guess we'll do the sleeping dart. I guess it works better when they mutate too, probably. There's a prickly marmoset for you. Nice. Cycling. So I think we'll play the Pyroceratops here. Oh, two can play at this Pyroceratops game, huh? So, fifth land. Let's see. I can cycle and then cast claws. Get double strike on this, so it's eight. Yeah, we could do that. Um, so cycle. Claws. So this would be considered non-combat damage, so I can't uh, can't do that. It's kind of good synergy with each other, though. If you play the Caprator and the Shredded Sails, it's like a two mana plus four buff. Four plus one plus one counters. Turns into a five seven flyer. It's pretty good. I have no idea why they're attacking, but I like it. All right, so dart. Um, We just pass. Mm. 
Alright, cast some frost links. Keeping that tapped. I guess we'll keep this tapped. So now we can go prophecy. No. Attack. Psycho. Uh, psycho. for the next one. All right, this is a keep. Uh, I mean, I can cycle. I mean, I want to find, like, a Dranith Stinger. I've got a grip full of Cyclers already. I don't see why I can't cycle. Zenith Flare only gets better later, so... is good so um get in with the marmoset here and we'll drop the uh hey gorilla and do menace through mana which is not irrelevant guess we'll cycle this concession now you just you just can see so we play <laughs> this this is de I know I'm winning it's actually demoralizing to win with this deck because of how bad it is look at this deck this is what it takes to win in this format an auto drafted Poorly constructed cycling deck currently has five wins. Meanwhile, the deck decks I've like really put a lot of thought into <laughs> have a bunch of bombs, and I can't get more than two wins. Wow. So we don't have any one mana cyclers here, so we should probably mull this. This one we'll keep. And we'll dump the, uh, I think... I actually think, uh, Pirate Ceratops is one of our main win cons, so I guess I'll bottom a cycler. Considering how low on win cons we are, I think it makes some sense to, uh, keep the Ceratops. Start here. Uh, actually, I don't think I should have played the dart because the dart fuels the Pyroceratops. I should have cycled the Shredded Sails. Although, if they play a flyer, maybe it would have been better playing from the beginning here. Well, Sleeper Dart doesn't do all that much against uh, Moss Coat Goriak.
Okay. So we'll drop the ceratops here. Gotta wait one more turn here before we mythos here. I want to maximize my value on this because I'm going to be casting mythos and pacifying something. So I want to get good bang for my buck. And I didn't cast the gremlin because of the mamba. Uh, if I get a land, though, I can play the Serpent, which is good. Didn't quite get there. So, I think I'll cycle this. Cycle this. And... We'll drop the grim one. And that way if they um, mutate, I at least can uh, hopefully mythos plus uh, pacify something. Hopefully. Oh, good. Let's see. Uh, three, four, five, six. Because they're probably going to keep the bat. I'm guessing. Uh, they got one card left. I think we just damage prevent. Okay. So let's mit those here. They'll keep the bat. We'll pacify it. Probably maybe Zenith flare it. I don't need the flare to win. Keeping the Mamba. That's pretty surprising. Why would they keep the Mamba? <laughs> maybe I'm the one that's going to be like eating those words, but that seems strange to me. So let's do Marmoset. And pacify the Garapid. Keep the Mamba. I'm just, I'm in awe. it flying. Seems fine. Um, so I think we'll go attack with Marmoset. Really? I was going to say that'd be surprising. Let's uh, cycle the boon.
And I'm actually going to leave up the uh, Zenith Flare. I don't want to cycle the Stinger, I don't think, yet, at least. Although I can. I can cycle Stinger and then kill Wingfold Terran. Yeah, that is something I could do. So doing that to make me lose some life, I'm okay with that. So I think we will kill the Terran here. So we'll cycle the Stinger. And Flare. Uh, can I flare them and kill them? I can, can't I? I take six. Uh, so I flare them, they go to nine. Yeah. I'll just hit them. And then cycle, cycle, four, six, nine, yeah. for the next one. Uh, yeah, we can keep this. So, we'll attack, play the dart. Oh, they have a uh, Garuda. Ceratops is a good one too, so we can cycle this. And cycle this. And attack. And pass. So, I'm going to try and cast the Pyroceratops and pass. So, play the dart. See if they play like Blood Curdle or something. Lurking Dead Eye. Hmm. Right. Unfortunately, I don't have something that can protect my Pyroceratops here. They don't know that though. They didn't care. Make a check. Yeah. Alright. Still dealt a little damage to him. I guess that's good. Uh, I really actually want to get the land here, so I'm going to forego the damage because I want to play Lava Serpent. Hmm. So now we can play 
Lava Serpent, which is good. Problem is, they're going to have G Garuda, Gigan, whatever it's called. Which is also not an artifact. They didn't cast anything. Hmm. Now I'm confused. I don't know why they cast that instead. Give it hexproof as well. Um. Yeah, it's pretty good actually. So I can give the Tigerilla menace. Um. Which is an option. So I do that, and I think we just keep pinging. I guess we're just going to keep pinging and building up flare, finding an opportunity to do Lava Serpent. That seems like the plan. So we just pacify the leech and then I guess maybe just go for the serpent cycles at that point. Let's cycle this first. I mean, we know what we're doing, so it's fine. Oh, that'll help. So let's pacify this. Get in for four. Um, stinger. I feel like this forces them to do something. Like they play Garuda, they gotta dig up something pretty good. And we're in a position where they they get lifelink. I suppose, yeah. It doesn't have flying, which I have to remember, because that doesn't really make a lot of sense that it doesn't have flying, but it doesn't. So I have to keep that in mind. Um, and they're tapped out, so... They also can't block... Yeah. All right. Let's cycle this, and then we flare them for seven. And that should do it. All right. Does that mean we're done? We seriously go seven one with this? No way. So we went we went seven one with this. Wow. I don't even know what to say about that. That really feels to me like they screwed up. There's really no no earthly reason. This deck should have gone 7 1. Um, so, 
Yeah. Oh, Loris. So, I don't even know what to discuss about that. You you watched me force a cycling deck that auto-drafted for the last seven or eight picks, and it still went 7-1. Does that mean I'm supposed to... I mean, do you guys want me to just force cycle the whole time so I can get, like, a big, you know, net gem profit and draft longer? Is that what I'm supposed to do? What's this do? You can cast... You draw two cards when you cast a spell, but then at the beginning of your end step, you have to discard your hand. This feels like a card that's, like, asking to be... <laughs> asking to be... Uh, broken somehow. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I now I feel like I have to do some serious like soul searching on this format because that's so surprising that I could force a bad cycling deck that got auto drafted and still go seven one. So that's alarming to say the least. Very alarming. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'd love to hear some feedback on how we go from here, I guess, with the format. So uh, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you for the next one.